Welcome back to the news up here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. The Boy Scouts is weighing reversing its stand on gays in the troop. Wall Street Journal's Anna Campoy joins us now from Los Angeles on the phone. Now, Anna, thank you very much for getting up so early on the uh, West Coast. I'm actually in Dallas, Texas, so it wasn't oh. quite that early. Okay, well, it's still pretty early. Thanks for being there. Um, tell us about uh, the Boy Scouts and, and what, what they're doing to change their long-standing ban on, on, on gays in the Scouts. The Boy Scouts said yesterday that they are going to discuss a proposal that would put an end on the ban and uh, it would leave it up to local groups to decide whether they want to um, accept gay members or not. So um, it's just still a proposal under discussion, but um, board members are going to take it up next week, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Is it, isn't that going to, I mean, that's going to be a, a, a very sort of multifaceted policy then if there's a sort of a, a, a no longer a national ban, but local troops can make their own decisions. How's that going to work? Isn't that going to be inconsistent throughout the country? Well, at this point, it's unclear how it would work. I mean, if each local group decides its own policy, yes, there are going to be inconsistencies. And it's, it's I mean, we don't know how, how they're going to uh, work that out. Because if you're a Boy Scout in one place and um, you're openly gay and the group accepts you, but then if you move someplace else, that might not be the case. That might generate problems. But at this point, it's those kinds of discussions are, are premature because um, we don't even know if they're going to lift the ban yet. Okay, now also, I mean, if, if they don't lift the ban or if there is inconsistency, it would still be a, a very marked contrast with the Girl Scouts of America who don't have um, a, a ban on Girl Scouts or Girl Scout troop leaders being gay. Yes, that is true. Um, the, the Girl Scouts have a different policy than, than the Boy Scouts. So um, I think that there has been a lot of pressure for the Boy Scouts to change. The school, they, they had online petitions, some of its board members have spoken against it, and um, so this seems to be a response to that pressure. So th there is pressure on them, but we, we also know that the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Boy, boy Scouts and their, their, and their right to um, ban, ban gay people from being part of their organization. Yes, that's true. Um, the Boy Scouts yesterday did not go into the details of why they are considering this now. Um, so that's a big question mark. Um, it might be that, that public opinion is just um, has turned on this issue and they, um, they are responding. Uh, we, we won't know more until they, they uh, have their board meeting next week and, um, and are going to so what, but, but Anna, whatever the decision, it's bound to be contentious, isn't it? Yes, already some groups um, are speaking against the proposal. They want the ban to remain. Um, I spoke to a former um, chairwoman of a local Cub Scouts group, and she, I mean, she, her children are all grown up now, but she was saying that she thinks the ban is very important to give parents a sense of trust. I mean, some, some people are just feel uneasy um, uh, about um, having their kids belong to an organization where um, they will be uh, exposed to same-sex attraction. Um, they, they think that, you know, that that shouldn't happen when they're so young. Okay. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we, what that decision is. Thank you very much. Anna Campoy of The Wall Street Journal joining us from Dallas. We appreciate your time.